Hello, everybody. I have another prayer request that came up under the prayer request for Marcus. A lady named Lisa Lawrence Shuffleberger. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, said that she... Here, let me pull it up and read it. She said, I am also having tightness in my chest. I went to the hospital last night and they couldn't find anything wrong. So I tend to think it's an attack from demons. I could use some prayers. Thank you. Okay, so yes, this could be demonic attacks. Uh, we must always be on the lookout for things like that because if I'm not mistaken wasn't it a message from the Lord that I shared or maybe I just watched it to not go get tested don't even go get tested because the swabs have CV on them so surely I'd like to ask Lisa, did you did they test you for CV? And if so, did they have an an answer before you left, or are they going to call you today? I'm just wondering, because this just says nine hours ago. It's eight fifty two a.m. here in Alabama, USA. And it's Friday, April 3rd. Okay, so we could be looking at an attack from demons. So what do you do when you're under attack? You don't have to have anybody do anything. You need to take control. You need to say, if you feel you're under an attack from a demon, if you get a medical issue and it could possibly be an attack from a demon okay because they're like really working overtime right now to to wear down the saints you tell that thing get thee behind me satan and demons i command you to flee right now in the name of jesus christ i plead the blood of jesus over myself i plead the blood of jesus over my heart or say it's a bad headache i plead the blood of jesus over my head and my brain they are um you could say something like i'm a child of the most high god and i belong to him and he is my master and I work for him and not for you. I mean, just whatever comes to mind. If if you don't know how to do spiritual warfare praying, you get into Ephesians chapter 6. I don't remember seeing you comment, so welcome to my channel, Lisa. Because uh, I think I would remember that name, but maybe not. <laughs> okay, so... <clears throat> I do have a list of spiritual warfare videos <clears throat> on my home page. You can go and listen to those. And any uh, prayers for spiritual warfare, type that in the search channel, and the search bar, and pull up all videos you can find that you have time to watch on spiritual warfare. You have to have your armor on. That's where Ephesians chapter 6 will teach you about the armor of God and praying at all times and all with all manners and petitions and for all the saints. It does say to pray in the Spirit. So if you don't yet have that gift, you just keep praying for it. Okay, don't let that hinder you. The Satan knows English as well. He doesn't know our, our heavenly language, but he knows all the earthly languages just fine. So that's a little bit of advice for anybody that might be new or you've been a Christian all your life, but gosh, oh, your preachers never mention spiritual warfare or putting on the armor or pleading the blood of Jesus. That's because they're taught not to. 
and anyway so I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video because Satan doesn't want this information out we must do our spiritual warfare I anointed in this house last night I anointed Buddy up one side and down the other I poured oil on his chest prayed over him and bless his heart he went and got a drink of water and just collapsed that's what he does if y'all don't hear from me for a couple of days you'll know why I'm I'm praying for a good report when we go to the vet today this afternoon four o'clock Okay, anyway, this isn't about me and Buddy. This is about Lisa and spiritual warfare. So do check out those videos on spiritual warfare. There's playlists, you know, on people's channels. When you go to click on my name, you go there and it, you'll see playlists. Click on that and you'll see a row of them. And one of them is spiritual warfare videos. Some are mine, some are others, I believe. I need to update those lists, I think, but you just need to start somewhere You're learning how to do spiritual warfare, okay? And if it's medical, then certainly prayer from the church will help. Many people I've asked prayer for have said they felt better by that night and they were thankful for pray our prayers and so forth. So, Again, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, over myself. And, um, and over each and every one of you. And all of your connections. And all of your devices. I just drew a blank there. I know there was something else. Oh. And I also want to say I, I declare that no weapons formed against us shall prosper in Jesus' precious and holy name. I pray that. Okay, with that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.